Hello and welcome to the Friday, November 10th, 2023 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Nice educational diary today from Xavier. Xavier is talking about code injection techniques and, well, how to visualize some of these and how they sort of manifest themselves on your Windows system. Code injection refers to a normal a good process being manipulated, part of the code in memory being overwritten with malicious code while the software is suspended. And yes, this is something, as Xavier points out, that's specifically supported by Microsoft APIs. So it's, uh, as a result, relatively straightforward to do. Well, uh, Xavier is looking at a specific sample here, and this was a phishing email with an executable was attached as a zip file that then took advantage of this technique to inject itself. Xavier visualized what happened here uh, to the particular uh, process, uh, soundvolume.exe, with a proc dot. If you're not familiar with dot, dot is actually sort of a language to describe graphs like this and then uh, draw pictures can also be used for flow diagrams i've seen it uh, also being used like uh, for network uh, diagrams but in this case it's used to kind of illustrate what is happening to these processes uh, where the actual malicious code is injected so if you are doing malware analysis if you're trying to better understand these techniques well uh, take a look at the full diary by xavier and looks like the Klopp ransomware gang moved on from exploiting uh, MoveIt uh, systems uh, to now going after Sys8. Sys8 has published a blog post explaining that they just released a new version of their on-premise product, fixing a new vulnerability, CVE 2023-47246. And this vulnerability is apparently currently being exploited by the Klopp ransomware gang. Sys8 makes offers sort of for help desks and uh, issue management if you are running a sys8 make sure that you are running version 23.3.36 as part of its blog sys8 also reveals a number of details about the compromise that they observed including uh, indicators of compromise and such that you can use to figure out if you yourself got affected by this particular malware and talking about MoveIt, the maker of MoveIt Progress software has uh, published a service pack. That's the November 2023 service pack for the WSFTP server product. Uh, this uh, service pack fixes one specific vulnerability, CVE 2023-42659. This is an arbitrary file upload vulnerability. Uh, Progress did label this as critical with a CBSS score of 9.1. And Malwarebytes has spotted yet another malvertising campaign taking advantage of Google Ads. In this particular case, the product being impersonated is CPU-Z or CPU-Z. This product is typically used in order to find out more about your system, like what processor and mainboard and chipset you are running on your system. So a little freeware utility like this. Well, the malicious version does much more than that it includes the red line info stealer malware so as usual be careful what you download where you download it from and if you are browsing high-risk site like anything related to google you probably want to make sure that an ad blocker is enabled and finally, before you leave for the weekend, make sure that if you are running Apache Arrow that you are updating CVE 2023-47248 does open a critical vulnerability on systems running Apache Arrow due to PyArrow, the Python module that is included with Apache 
error. Apache error is often used uh, for a uh, data processing as such it has to deal with a wide range of data types and in this case is vulnerable uh, to a deserialization vulnerability in pi error that's of course a typical type of vulnerability for a product uh, like this well and that's it for today thanks again for listening and talk to you again on monday bye